Meantime, an Instagram influencer who flaunted an extravagant lifestyle may end up spending 20 years behind bars. She's accused of using hundreds of thousands of dollars in COVID relief money to buy a new Bentley, a luxury apartment, even plastic surgery. News Nation's Kelly Beeson is here. Kelly, this is just the latest example of COVID relief fraud. Yeah, it appears to be, Nicole, and cracking down on these types of cases is something that was front and center at last night's State of the Union address. Now the government is playing catch up to determine who abused taxpayer funds during the pandemic. These are allegedly photos of Daniela Rendon in luxury cars, what appears to be a private jet and lounging Oceanside. But the Instagram account has apparently been wiped from the internet after the 31-year-old luxury real estate influencer was reportedly arrested for receiving nearly $400,000 through the Small Business Administration and Paycheck Protection Program. Instead of using the cash to keep employees paid during the pandemic, Rendon allegedly created fake payrolls for friends and family, pocketing the gains. This type of activity, an issue front and center, at last night's State of the Union address. As we emerge from this crisis stronger, we're also got to double down on prosecuting criminals who stole relief money meant to keep workers and small businesses afloat. The Government Accountability Office puts the amount the federal government paid out in unemployment insurance benefits around $878 billion between April of 2020 and September of 2022. The Department of Labor's internal watchdog is estimating that a minimum of $191 billion in pandemic unemployment benefits may have been misspent. Inspector General Larry Turner said in testimony submitted today that at least one hundred ninety one billion in pandemic UI payments could have been improper payments with a significant portion attributable to fraud. Rendon reportedly spent gains from the pandemic on a luxury car, apartment and designer shoes. She now faces seven counts of wire fraud, among other charges and up to 20 years behind bars. Now, the Government Accountability Office has estimated that fraud specifically in unemployment insurance programs during the pandemic may have exceeded $60 billion. Nicole. Yes, so much money. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.